What is up YouTube? This is Mark me another video and today we have a lot of good stuff to cover in the 1.18.0 beta patch notes. Guys, there's so much to go over. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff with room ownership. So I think they're really prepping up for customization within the game as well as tournaments. But there's a lot of customization you can do within the room ownership. Well, you know, things like player commands, match commands as well, some special commands, which are really fun, um, as well as the third person holsters. That's kind of a quick overview as well. So you guys will actually be able to see people's skins, which is nice because before all you had to do, or the only way you could see the skins was essentially just to, you know, throw your weapon away and then they could see it there. And the last thing they did was they did a bunch of large server side changes. So apparently they um, made a, they, they made large changes to their game server code. And so they're seeing if this will impact the game in a good or bad way. They're just testing it right now. They think it'll obviously help, but they have to monitor and make sure. And then they've also fixed a lot of bugs that have come out in the past. So um, something that's interesting here, I also wanted to note here, if you go to store, you actually will see here how many ads you can watch a day so now you can watch 10 ads a day i believe i think this is per day um correct me if i'm wrong at this point but i think this is per day and it gives you a timer so it's about five minutes each ad you have to watch so if you do this if you think about it you could watch 10 ads a day that'll give you 60 credits because each ad gives you six credits um 60 credits normally a case costs 200 uh credits right so it could takes you about four days to get um a case if you want to just watch ads um and with it being a five minute cooldown, it would take you around 50 minutes um, with those in between. So let's say each ad takes 30 seconds, 10 times you know, 30, that's five minutes. So it'll take you about 55 minutes to an hour um, to watch all these ads per day. I don't know if you guys will like this or not. You probably probably won't like it, but they have a little timer now. So at least you know how long you have to wait for another ad, which is kind of nice. Um, but the first things first, we got to go into the actual game here. You can see when we're going to go to custom games, you can see already here so many special commands. Um, and when you're going to go host something right here, you can see that there are special commands already there. That's something that's really interesting here. Um, and if you go in, so like, let's just actually start this match. Um, so, uh, you know, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go to Bureau, right? Let's say if we were starting an actual... Um, I don't know, I'm just going to put a password on here so no one joins. Um, starting an actual tournament match, right? This will be very interesting. Um, kind of put this on 13, first to win, blah, 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 blah. I think these are good. Um, you can actually go in and you'll actually be able to see broadcasting all the commands to the in-game chat for everyone to see. Um, so like, let's say, you know, you want to spectate very interesting here there's a new tab for commands it's kind of the uh, the mac key for commands but there's so much you can do you can pause round um i really like this the next round is set to pause this is great i really like this they, they basically said you can now just basically have um timeouts so like let's say someone had to go and you need to pause the game um so you don't have to wait anymore now you can actually wait before you couldn't do that this is a huge thing in my opinion i really like this these match commands are probably one of the best things they've added for customization you can restart the match usually so yeah you can restart the match and there you go the match is restarted so you don't have to do oh everyone go to spectate again me as a person who's a, cost, a content creator if i want to have a match with people i can just click restart match now i don't have to wait for everyone this is amazing guys for content creators for tournaments i love that you can add a co-owner host so if there's someone in the actual game you could say oh i want to give this mod or admin privileges as well to do all these things that's great i love that you can kick a player right so let's say if you want to kick a player you tap it you say you you want to set them for a certain amount of minutes maybe you want it to do 17 minutes you know a random amount this is great as well you can do i think all the way up to 60 minutes i don't think you can go beyond 60 um, but 60 is enough i would say because you're not going to get a match for longer than that so you can kick a player um which is great that's so great for tournaments like if let's say someone leaves um you know, let's say, well, let's say someone leaks the password and they join, you can just kick them. It's amazing. I love this. Muting players, uh, that's amazing as well. You can click which players you want to mute and then you can, you know, select if you want to unmute them as well. You can freeze a player. So let's say you're playing a Simon Says and someone keeps shooting a game you know, or, or they're shooting their gun. You can just freeze them, you know, tap that, you just stay freeze, unfreeze. You can force a player to change teams, guys. This is insane. There's so much customization. And I really like this. I think this is amazing here for the player commands, for the match commands. The fun thing is for the special commands, you can slap a player. I think that's hilarious. Um, if you're, you know, if you're playing some Simon Says type stuff, um, you can give people, you know, damage. They just, I don't know, they can die um, or hide and seek, you know, that, that'll be very fun. You can set health for some people. So let's say you want someone to, you know, keep on regenerating health. That'll be kind of funny. Um, if you want to give someone uh, money, I think this one's also really fun. You know, you, if you want to just give them like, oh, we'll give this person 10K, um, that'll be very fun as well. And also if you want to give someone equipment, so you can also drop people this, which I think is fun. So like, let's say you want to give me a flashbang, give me a flashbang. 
I need to be alive, right? So let's say I, I go here and uh, I think I can give myself anything because I'm the match owner, right? So I start out with 10K, um, but let's say, you know, you can go here, give equipment, bada bing, bada boom, AK, give me an AK. I gave themselves an AK. There you go. Isn't that very nice, guys? And it doesn't cost any money or anything like that. So these commands are absolutely insane. I actually think this is really good. The slap player, the set health, the add money, and the give equipment. In case something happens in the middle of a round, like let's say someone disconnects, this will be great because then you can re actually reinstate the entire match. Like let's say, oh, maybe they all had AKs and then, you know, the match, um, something happened, someone disconnected. One, you can freeze the match, right? You can pause the round, which is great. Um, you can mute people to be like, hey, I don't want you to, to talk. I don't want you to say anything. I want to see if mute is for all chat or anything. So like maybe let's, let's try and mute myself. Um, can I Can I say anything? You're muted. You can't say anything. You can't say anything in team chat either. So that's interesting. I feel like mute should only be for all chat. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess I guess that's something interesting there. You unmuted yourselves and you can see here all the commands right there in the left. It's I like that now because I think if you type in chat, um, it'll also have like a little shadow in the background. So you can see blah, blah, blah there. So that's very nice. Um, but yeah, there's so much you can do here. And then, you know, force a player to change a team. You know, you want me to join the other team so you can just change them right there this is this is honestly wonderful i really love this guys um i think this is very cool that i can do this and that other people can do this as well so this is going to be much easier for tournaments to be run what do you guys think about this leave your comments down below because i think this is game changing i legit think this is game changing you can do so much here um and i really wish i'm just going to go and go ahead and actually join another team uh, but let's cover some of the actual um other updates in the large server side changes so basically all they said is they made large changes to the game server code um I don't, you know, you don't really know what that means, uh, but they're saying, you know, they're just kind of impacting. They want to see if this impacts performance in a good or bad way. They want to intend to monitor and measure the behavior during the beta fix. And they're, they're trying to, you know, fix any issues that arise when this happens. Um, they also fixed the bug that caused recent login issues. They fixed the bug where party members emblems do not update properly. They fixed the huge mini map disappearing permanently bug. Um, that's that one's great. I, that one need to be solved when, uh, you know, someone's flashed and they also fixed multiple game uh, bugs for crashes. So I think this is really good. The third person holsters. This is I'm just going to read off what they said. Um, they said they're introducing a new visual feature in critical ops, which allows players to actually see which weapons and gear another player is holding in the third person. So that you have an extra sense of strategy. Um, it's something that they've wanted to do on their wish list for a long time um, and they've actually had the chance to develop it each character model now has specified positions for their gear and on their body and pistols will actually go in the pistol holsters so i think you should actually be able to see here i'm not sure if you can uh, but yeah you can see look it's on the back i think that's pretty cool here you can see you know what skins your teammates has which is nice um primary weapons are on the back of each character and the throwables and utilities are actually strapped to the chest so you can see hey do i have a flashbang hey do i have a smoke grenade hey do i have a, a nade right so i think this is really cool the positions might differ depending on the faction so whether you're breach or coalition it will change but any and all equipment will have the skin set so that's very kind of cool and so you can see here um uh, will he have anything no because we're in a diffuse match or a uh, uh a death match i think but like let's say i have this i should or they should be able to see my stuff on my back but I'm, I'm not really playing right now um they've really carefully considered the gameplay implications when developing this feature um because they want to make sure it's not necessarily giving uh one player an advantage or disadvantage or like maybe your thing shows i think that might be interesting like let's say you have a sniper rifle and just bigger on your back and you're facing something different um is that going to give you a disadvantage versus holding something like a p90 and it's smaller on your back We'll see where that happens. Um, they've definitely taken that into consideration. It excludes Kevlar and helmet. So buying those in game won't change the visuals. That'd be kind of cool if they did though. You could kind of see, are they wearing helmet? Are they not? I don't know about that though. You know, maybe on the enemies as well. I'd want to see if that's a thing. Um, and then players can basically they're saying players can show off their cool loadout more um, and this is the first iteration and obviously they're going to be testing it and improving it for the future. So I, I can't really see a huge difference right now. Obviously, um, I, I think it's interesting. I wonder if it'll show up in there um sides as well so you can you can't see any anything like that but um you can see he has i mean you can see the pistols in people's holsters now i believe so yeah see he has the the gun on the back of his back 
which I think is interesting. Um, he, he shot me because, yeah. But I, I really like this update. This is a kind of a visual update. I really like the commands, guys. This will be so great for tournament organizers. Tournament organizers everywhere are rejoicing. They are so happy about this, this entire update because now they can control everything. They don't have to be like, we have to wait for this person. We can pause the game. You can kick someone if they're being toxic. If they're not supposed to be in the server, you just kick them out. Um, and playing this right now, I currently don't see a huge amount of, um, you know, server performance changes i think the server performs fine if actually it may be a little bit less packet loss you can see i haven't really had it very often um and i'm on europe servers so i think this is kind of a good thing to show for the future um they're really trying to i think improve the server quality which i think will be nice and hopefully we can actually see that improved in the future um but I think this is great. This is 1.18.0 update is really showing that Critical Ops is kind of, they're moving in the right direction. Um, yes, they still do content updates as well, um, but they're also really focusing on the actual aesthetic of the game and making sure it plays well. So I really do believe Critical Ops is headed in the right direction here. Very excited to see kind of how this impacts tournament play as well as Critical Ops circuit. This was definitely a smart play on them to kind of get this ready before the Critical Ops circuit. Um, so now that, you know, when they do actually do the circuit, there will be a nice little addition there and they can kind of control things on their own. So what do you think about this update? I really, really enjoy this, like I've said so many times already. Um, definitely let me know. There's going to be so much creative stuff I think that's going to come out. I'm not the most creative content creator, which is kind of interesting. Um, but if you guys have any ideas for these custom games, if you want to see simon says if you want to see hide and seek if you want to see any of those things um please let me know down below and i am more than glad to kind of keep these in consideration do realize i have some work to do uh, i have school as well so you know your boys working your boys doing content creation your boys doing uh school as well but definitely leave some ideas down below in the comment section i really want to hear out what you guys have to say as far as ideas for for making some new videos now that we have this ability to actually make new videos um and have some fun here but I will see you all next time. I've been blabbering on for a while now, and uh, you guys definitely take care. All right, it's a. Uh, I think it's this video is going to be uploaded Friday on July seventeenth, um, I believe, for my time. But either way, you guys have been awesome. Take care, everybody, and uh, have a good good day, good night, wherever you are. See ya.